All right, so we're gonna do another uh, video with the photo diode right there. And you can see when I darken it, we get a lower amount of current. Now we got more current. So it's not like a light dependent resistor. So we have the multimeter here and I just made uh, these uh, breadboard jumpers. I just clamped a alligator clip right there. I just use pliers. Um, and uh, so I can clip it to the uh, probe there. So we have a steady uh, connection. So the main takeaway is we have uh, five volts right there. So if this was a light dependent resistor, as I raised the voltage, the resistance would stay the same and uh, thus the current would go up because now we got uh, four times as much current. We're gonna go to 20 volts because I know it's less than uh, one milliamp of current. So we're not gonna overheat the 510 ohm resistor or the light dependent uh, resistor here. Uh, flashlight, I could get a lot more uh, current. Oh, let's get back to uh, 20. So now what we're gonna do is, uh, you know, current changed a little bit, probably because it's warmed up. Um, but uh, for the most part, it's it's about the same. And uh, now I'll dim the lamp. So it went way down because the lamp is at its lowest setting now. Went from the highest setting to the lowest. And now we're going from 20 volts uh, down to uh, 5. And it uh, barely changes. We went to 4 there. Um, barely changes. You know, changes a little bit probably because it's not as hot anymore or uh, whatnot. Um, but in uh, any case, yeah, the photodiode is more of a current source based on how much light is falling on it. The uh, series resistor is just to uh, limit uh, current if it got too high for some reason, uh, prevent it from burning out. Um, also, I have the power supply set to 20 milliamps a limit, which would probably help protect it too, but you can never be too safe. Um, so in any case, we're done with the multimeter and um, with the multimeters you don't want to accidentally measure current and uh, if you meant to measure a voltage you always want to limit current to less than what you set and we just have it in the milliamp setting there um, we could go down to the microamp setting which would be even more dangerous but in case main takeaway is turn off your meter or get it off of measuring current at least if it has a power button still put it on voltage so the next time you go to volt measure voltage you don't have it at the current setting and you blow a fuse 